Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Um, yep, gone through the door. They locked it behind us. We're doomed. We're never gonna get out. We're gonna die up here. And best way to enter in is find a bunch of dead things. Already dead things. It shall be done. I'm always a little worried. Body's gonna pop back up. I have a thought. We have an opportunity that I believe we should take advantage of. To the point. My mother was once divested of a particular grimoire by a most annoying Templar hunter. It occurred long before I was born, but even today, Flemeth speaks of the loss with great rage. With the circle of magi in such disarray, it occurs to me that this might be the perfect time to recover the tome from their possession, for surely it eventually ended up in their hands? Here's a book of spells of the sort that Flemeth has dabbled with throughout her long life. Tis not the sort of thing that would benefit a mage of the standard variety. They were taught a different path. I, however, was taught by my mother. I know a way around the wards my mother would have placed on such a tome. I know the language that she would have written it in. I would find such a tome most useful. Flemeth is a sorceress of legend, is she not? And her grimoire would be more than a mere curiosity to mages that daren't even glance towards the places my mother has walked for eons. No doubt tis considered something dangerous, perhaps best locked away somewhere dark, yes? And if not, then at least I know it does not exist. But there is no harm in looking, surely? Good. I am most interested to see its contents, should it be located. The grimoire is leather-bound and adorned with the symbol of a leafless tree, should you come across it. If not, however, then I shall simply put it out of my mind. Uh-huh. I feel like she wouldn't put it out of her mind. She'd be kind of obsessed about it. I await your command. What do you need? Ask away. You never asked? <sighs> All right. If you want the full explanation, I'll give it to you. The thing is, I'm used to not telling anyone who didn't already know. It was always a secret. Even Duncan was the only Grey Warden who knew. And then after the battle, when I should have told you, I don't know, it seemed like it was too late by then. How do you just tell someone that? Yes, well... I suppose part of me kind of liked you not knowing. They treat me differently. I become the bastard prince to them, instead of just Alistair. I know that must sound stupid to you, but I hate that it shaped my entire life. I never wanted it, and I certainly don't want to be king. The very idea of it terrifies me. For all the good it does me, my blood seems certain to haunt me no matter what I do. I guess I should be thankful that Arl Eamon is far more likely to inherit the throne. If he's alright. Oh, I hope he's alright. For what it's worth, I'm sorry for not telling you sooner. It was a dumb thing to do. I guess it's kind of a relief that you know now. Let's go.
Looking for little old me? Next to nothing, I'm afraid. Perhaps there is little to know about this place, or I simply have not discovered its secrets yet. Looking for little old me? Yes? What's on your mind? Of course I do. I love stories far too much to keep them to myself. Everyone should be able to benefit from them, I think. Of course, Orlesians enjoy telling stories. I shall tell you my favorite tale of Aveline, the Knight of Orle. Aveline? A long time ago, <laughs> don't have time. a girl child was by born to a farmer. He had hoped for a son, not a daughter, and so he told his wife to abandon the child in the woods. Before the cold could claim her, the baby was found by a tribe of Dalish elves who took pity on the poor mewling thing and raised her as their own. Avelyn, for that is what they called her, grew strong and quick and clever under the guidance of the elves. She learned to wield a sword as well as any man, could kill a deer with an arrow at hundred paces, and was as graceful on the back of a horse as she was on foot. Aveline's Dalish guardians saw that she could easily best any Olesian chevalier in battle, and wanted to show the cruel humans the child they had left to die. They bestowed upon her a fine horse and armor, and sent her to prove herself to her people in the Grand Tourney. Now in those days, no woman was allowed to take up arms, let alone compete in the Grand Tourney, but Aveline kept her helmet on and was not discovered. Aveline won many events and gained the approval of the adoring crowd. Eventually, she came face to face with the knight Kaleva in the Grand Melee. Aveline had already bested him in the joust, and Kaleva was determined not to lose a second time. Out of desperation to regain his honor, Kaleva tripped Aveline and tossed her to the ground, ripping off her helmet as he did so. Silence fell upon the arena as Aveline was revealed. Kaleva declared the previous competitions invalid. A woman had taken part, and this was not allowed. But the crowd cheered for Aveline. Kaleva was furious, for he had lost to a woman and was now being shamed. Blinded by his rage, he forced Aveline to her knees. Know your place, woman, cried he, and slit her throat. Whoa. The son of the king, Prince Freyan was present. He recognized Aveline's skill and bravery and began to see the injustice done to the women in his land. When he was made king, he rewrote the laws of Ole so that women could also become chevalier. He honored Aveline and knighted her after her death. And to this day, any female who is knighted reveres Aveline the Brave, for she is the patron of all women chevalier. All right, one story per thing. Very well. Yeah, so far, so good. concerned how they get this much filth just laying around. Oh. Hey, I remember you! It's you. No, come no further. Grey Warden or no, I will strike you down where you stand. I am a mage of the Circle. More importantly, why are you here? The Templars would not let just anyone by. And you were told that the Circle was in no shape to help you, I suppose. So why did the Templars let you in? Do they plan to attack the tower now? They 
They sent for it then. I feared they might have. What else could they do? So Gregor thinks the circle is beyond hope. He probably assumes we are all dead. They abandoned us to our fate. But even trapped as we are, we have survived. If they invoke the right, however, we will not be able to stand against them. Let it suffice to say that we had something of a revolt on our hands, led by a mage named Aldred. When he returned from the battle at Ostagar, he tried to take over the circle. As you can see, it didn't work out as he had planned. I don't know what became of Aldred, but I am certain all this is his doing. I will not lose the circle to one man's pride and stupidity. I erected a barrier over the door leading to the rest of the tower, so nothing from inside could attack the children. You will not be able to enter the tower as long as the barrier holds, but I will dispel it if you join with me to save this circle. Once Gregor sees that we have made the tower safe, I trust he will tell his men to back down. He is not unreasonable. Then our path is laid out before us. We must save Irving. Petra and Kenan will watch them. If we slay all the fiends we encounter on our way, none will get by to threaten the children. You want us to assist this preachy schoolmistress? To rescue these pathetic excuses for mages? They allow themselves to be corralled like cattle, mindless. Now their masters have chosen death for them, and I say, let them have it. Hold your tongue, you harpy. <laughs> Look at how they live. Servants of the Chantry. They lack respect for themselves and their own power. Why should I respect them? Ah. Have it your way. Petra, Kenan, look after the others. I will be back soon. When? Are you sure you're all right? You were so badly hurt earlier. Maybe I should come along. The others need your protection more. I will be all right. Stay here with them. Keep them safe and calm. Your confidence is refreshing, though you should make sure it does not blind you to your weaknesses. If you are ready, let us go end this. Yes. And you got just you got replaced with Morgana. Indeed. If I remember correctly, she is a, uh, she is a healer type, if I remember correctly. Wow. She's got all the things. Well, that's all we're gonna dick around with for right now, because I'm a little skillfully retarded at times.
cheaper with those. I don't suppose this is what you expected the circle to be like, is it? I keep thinking this is our punishment for being mages. That's why the Templars have to... to do away with us. No, don't say that. It's not true. You deserve to live just like anyone else. The swords are like the... the sword of mercy that sent Andraste back to the Maker. Andraste only died because of man's foolishness and pride. We need to atone for this. We should let the Templars come. Only then can we be cleansed of our wickedness. I will pray. May we abandon our tainted bodies to find peace with the Maker. Oh, she's a little... It's okay, good to see that some wardens survived. We are sorry for the loss of your comrades. You heard about Loghain. I would never have imagined the Terran a traitor. Wynne was at Ostagar. She told us everything upon her return. But why speak of things past? Be careful in there, and stay safe. Alright, let's do this. Here we are. <laughs> I'm somewhat amazed at myself for having kept it in place this long. It made me very weary at times. But I had to stay strong to keep us safe. Be prepared for anything. I do not know what manner of beasts lurk beyond this barrier. Are you ready? All right. Be on your guard. There we go. Just had to get a good long running start. Never like that. <laughs> In the fire of the maker. Your hot sauce. Shall be done. Good googity. I'll take that. Private's not too private for my private. Oh, son of a whore. Alright, so note to self is they uh, tend to explode in a ball of fire once they're done being killed. It not the best of things.
Hello. I would love it if you stopped setting everything on fire. <laughs> oh man. We all got nuked. Oh, oh look. My breezes form a pretty pattern. I think she's a bit delirious. See if we cannot change that tactic just a little bit. Um, uh, let's see. Usability. Group heal. Ally. Usability. Oh, that must be a personal one. Maybe not. Okay. Soldier corpse. Eh, soldier core. Very well. Enchantment. weird. It's really, really weird. I wasn't sure if that was like... Sure that was mystical power? Not just some deranged fart? Oh. I guess that answers that question. Uh... There we go. Nada, nada, nada. Nada, granada. Alright. Uh, let's go up the stairs and see what's, what's happening. Mana or stamina? Huh. I have to keep that in mind. Electricity does double tap. Do you hear that? I think there's someone near here. Hmm. Please refrain from going into the stock room. It is a mess and I've not been able to get it into a state fit to be seen. I was trying to tidy up, but there was little I could do. 
The stock room is my responsibility. I must keep it clean. I tried to leave when things got quiet. That was when I encountered the barrier. Finding no other way out, I returned to work. Oh, Wayne, you should have said something. I would have opened the door for you. The stock room is familiar. I prefer to be here. He is one of the Tranquil. The Tranquil do not have emotions. I would prefer not to die. I would prefer it if the tower returned to the way it was. Perhaps Nial will succeed and save us all. Nial the Mage. He came here with several others and took the litany of Adralo. But that protects from mind domination. Is blood magic at work here? I do not know. Nial was in the meeting. He would know. Blood magic. I was afraid of this. Hmm. Blood magic could control us, too. Who knows what could happen then? We should find Nial. The litany will give us a fighting chance against any blood mages we encounter. I wish you luck. Perhaps this will be over soon and things will return to the way they were. Goodbye. Well then, um, hmm. We are in a sort of fancy area, As you so yeah, probably as good enough time to stop as any. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. This has been Hobble Dragon.